my Wales is Teacher Bernadette again and I miss you guys very very much but it's time for another morning rain. So today is Tuesday and if today is Tuesday what day was it yesterday? Monday, very good. And if today is Tuesday what day is it going to be tomorrow? Wednesday, that's right. Can you remember how many dates there are in a week? And can you remember the names of the days of the week? I hope so, but just to make sure, let's quickly do our song. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very good. Now, can you remember what month we are in? April, that's right. And can you remember how many months there are in a year? Seven? No, maybe twelve. And can you remember the names of the months of the year? I hope so, but let's make sure once again. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December. Very good, Wales. So today we are going to learn more about the alphabet. You all know this very well. I know you know this very well because you always look for Dippy Duck or Mr. Umbrella or Zebra. All of those characters on my wall. So this is just a little alphabet card that I made so it doesn't look like the one we're used to but they still have the same letters okay. so so far we've learned how to write the letter A B C D E F G H and I can you remember what sounds all those letters make A makes the sound A B makes the sound B C makes the sound K D makes the sound D E makes the sound E F makes the sound F G makes the sound G H makes the sound H and I makes the sound E But let's do our alphabet because I know you know your alphabet very very well a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? So if you ever want to just look at your alphabet, you know that we can all make our own alphabet charts. So all you have to do is write the letters that you know and the ones that you struggle with. You ask mommy and daddy to help you. And then you can draw a little picture of something that starts with that letter. So here, F, I drew a little fish, because fish. And let's see, K for kettle, R for rat, W for water. <laughs> Hmm, for net. So you can think of any other words that you would like and draw a picture of that word. I hope you have fun making your own alphabet charts, Wales. I can't wait to see them when we get back to school. I miss you guys very, very much and I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye, Wales. Good morning, Wales. It's Teacher Bernadette again and today is our last morning ring before our Easter holiday. Who's excited for Easter? I know I am. I can't wait to find the Easter bunny in my garden and look for all the Easter eggs. But for now, we're going to do our Thursday morning ring. So, if today is Thursday, what day is it going to be tomorrow? Friday. Very good. And if today is Thursday, what day was it yesterday? Wednesday. That's right. Can you remember the days of the week? You sure? Let's see. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
So how many days are there in a week? Seven, that's right. And who can remember what month of the year we are in? April, yes, April. And who can remember how many months there are in a year? Well, let's find out. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So that is 12 months in a year. So today we are going to look a little bit at our shapes and our colors. I know you all love your colors and you all know your shapes very well, but we're just going to look at a few shapes today. That's the way around. <laughs> okay, so who can tell me what shape this is? If it looks a little bit like a circle, but it's longer at the sides, it's an oval. And what color is this? Yellow, very good. This one's also upside down. Okay, so if it has four corners and one side is longer than the other side, it is a rectangle. And who can tell me what color this rectangle is drawn on? Orange. Very good. Hmm. The shape that everyone struggles to draw. See, even Teacher Bernadette can't draw a perfect star. But this is our star. It has one, two, three, four, five arms. And what color paper is our star drawn on? Who can tell me what color this is? Green, very good. Oh, if it has one, two, three corners, it is a triangle. That is right. And what color paper is our triangle drawn on? Orange, very, very good. Oh, I already spoke about this shape. Everyone knows this shape. If it has no corners and it looks like it goes around, and around and around without stopping it is a circle I know this is some of your favorite shapes because you keep drawing hearts for me to put on my whiteboard and what color is our heart drawn on Wales? pink that's right and I even colored our heart in a little bit with a different color pink so that you can see there are different shades of pink. Ooh. If it has one, two, three, four corners and all four sides are the same length, we have a square. Very good. Who can guess what color this is? It's a little bit of orange, a little bit of red and a little bit of pink. So I'm not sure what color this is. But maybe it's a coral color? I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. And our last shape for today is a diamond. A diamond has one, two, three, four corners, just like our square. But one side is a little bit longer than the other side. And it's a little bit squished at the corners so that it looks like a diamond. And what colors are diamond drawn on whales? Yellow, very good. Now, if you've been very observant, you would have seen that I had different colored crayons behind me. So let's quickly look at some of the colors that we have. We have purple and green and blue. We have silver, although it's not that shiny, and white and black and pink and beige. On the other side, we have brown, orange, yellow, and gray, and red. And we're missing peach and gold, although gold again is not very shiny, just like silver. So now I'm going to give you a little job to do. You have to go into your house or even into your garden and find five different colors. So five different things, and each of them have to be a different color. You can choose your five favorite colors, and even your five favorite things. And then when we, when we get back to school, you can tell me, or you can ask mommy and daddy to send me a picture or even a video showing me 
the five things you found and the five colours they are. I hope you have fun whales and I can't wait to see you. Bye whales!